Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations, here to show you a possible plan for an antenna that I might like to put up this winter at my house. I could leave it up in the winter because the probability of lightning would be very low and I wouldn't have to worry so much about nighttime thunderstorms burning my house to the ground. House here, <laughs> ground here. The, you're looking basically towards the southwest when you look at this drawing, so southeast would be basically, pardon me, you're looking, uh, let me get this straight, yeah, towards the, the southwest, so the northeast would be more or less towards you, the southeast would be more or less off to the left, and the northwest off to the right. As you can see, my house is built on a slope. But if, you, if I were to put a mast attached to my chimney, or just guide like a regular TV mast, say 20 feet high, on top of the house, maybe it only have to be 15 feet high, I could easily get 66 feet of antenna wire down to the mailbox or a pole near the mailbox shown here and 66 feet of antenna doesn't look quite symmetrical in this drawing but it's intended to be to a pole that I would put right next to the sidewalk on the um, southeast edge of Ridge Road. So I'm between Dwight Street and Ridge Road in Leed, South Dakota. Lead, L-E-A-D, as in lead me astray. That's not what I'm hoping to do here, but this is a plan that I've thought over in my mind. Now I may have to move out of this house uh, sometime during this winter and so it would make it kind of impractical to do this but my current antenna attached to the deck here to the railing on the deck is approximately 22 feet high resonant on 14 megahertz I have radials of a sort strung underneath the deck in various orientations so as to make sort of a ground plane antenna out of this thing and the reason it's 22 feet high and not 16 feet is because it is capacitively loaded at the base with 50 picofarads of capacitance. Brings the current loop just a little bit above the level of the ground plane. And it also lowers the standing wave ratio so that it's about in the range of 1.5 to 1. Now, an antenna like this, 66 feet on either side, is a half wave antenna at 3.5 megahertz. So it is in fact all by itself a regular dipole for the 80 and 75 meter bands. I could cut it to whichever. 80 meter CW, probably about 3.550 megahertz. But I would plan to feed this thing with open wire transmission line. I have some so-called window line, about 450 ohms characteristic impedance. Quite a lot of it stashed away in the garage and I might have enough of it to run from the top of this antenna down the side of the house in a hole that I'd have to drill in a blocked over window it's blocked over with a piece of wood little basement window blocked over I'd drill a hole in there run that window line right in there and that's where my shack is so it'd only have to be probably 50-60 feet long of an open wire transmission line, no major obstructions other than ice that can sometimes accumulate and snow in the winter, um, but those can be brushed away or often they'll blow away. 
and uh, they make a pretty good antenna for all bands an open wire fed dipole and even on 80 meters it would be a full half wavelength long and this 15 feet plus about another 20 feet above the ground for the house here is a fairly decent height above the ground not real high but fairly decent so uh, instead of just being confined to 20 meters with a rather noisy vertical antenna I'd get the antenna element away from the house a little more I would have a more or less horizontal antenna kind of an inverted V a distorted inverted V D I V or if you prefer distorted inverted V antenna might try it and if it if I do I will certainly uh, let you know how it works Stan Jibalisco signing off saying 73 for now and so long which regardless of feed line antenna length antenna height antenna type or any other variable for W1GV will always translate to da 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 da